hello and welcome to Imperial Moth Pupa Unboxing. So here we have a nice bowl of leaves and dirt that an Imperial Moth caterpillar burrowed into and pupated in. So let's remove the leaves. And one thing I want to mention is, so this is the bowl of dirt and our moth friend, I don't know if you can see it, but he's right in here. And we gotta dig through all of this to get him out. So, how are we gonna do this? I'm gonna have to make a mess. That's fine. And I have to go off screen a bit to dump out some of this. Okay. So he is in here. He's right in here. Oh! He doesn't want me to dig him up. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. So this is a giant silk moth caterpillar pupated underground. And this is unique because most of these guys make cocoons with leaves. All the ones I have raised have done this, so this is the first one I've had who pupates underground like sphinx moths. So, I'm excited to meet him. Where is he? Usually when they do this, they'll make a cocoon that's basically just a cave. So I'm trying not to collapse the cave on him, but... Where is he? <laughs> did, I, did I already collapse? Maybe I did. I don't know. Oh, 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 here he is. There he is, can you see him? He's right here. He's right here. Oh, he's big and fat. Look at him. I think I may have collapsed his cave when I was digging. Oh, here's his little butt. So his, his caterpillar skin, is this it? No, that's bark. So when they pupate there, and they're doing their final molt and their their old caterpillar skin will be by their butts. Oh look at him. Oh look. Look, he's a little baby. Look. Oh what's this? Oh here's his baby skin. Oh I found him. Here, let me get the dirt out of the way because I have everything I need now. So here is here is his old baby clothes. It's covered in dirt now, but you can see this is his baby face. This is a big caterpillar and it's covered in hairs. And oh, he's got some dirt on him. He's heavy. You can't see how heavy he is, but he's heavy. Oh, he's sticky too. Oh, he's so cute. So here's... Oh, he's wiggling still. So here's his face. Right here. 
yeah, yeah here in the frame. And so his face is right here, and you can see his little arms and legs, and then his wings, and then his abdomen is right here, and he's moving around. So pupas are not a form of hibernation. They are still alive, they're still active, but they make their cocoons and they dig underground and they do things like that as a way to protect themselves while they're in this vulnerable state. But it's easy to think of them as being hibernating just because of that, but a lot of pupa will still move and be very active and wiggle and scare you. So don't think that they're totally inactive just because they are uh, weird shell things without legs. They kind of do have legs, they're just they're fused. So one interesting thing is when you watch a caterpillar do its final molt and turn into a pupa all of the the features you see here, like the, the wings and the legs, they are individual features. They just fuse into the pupa while it's hardening. So it's easy to think that the pupa doesn't have legs, but it, it does. They just have hardened and fused into the shell to protect the developing adult parts. So I think, I think somebody probably wants to go back into the dark. So I'll let him go back into the garage. But I thought you guys would like to meet him. He is very heavy. You can't tell that he is heavy.